Hey all, today we're going to talk more about inequalities that exist within triangles and we're going to use something that we've talked about already in the Pythagorean Theorem. So just a reminder of what the Pythagorean Theorem is. It has to do with a right triangle. It says if we take the two legs and square them and then add them together, that that's equal to the hypotenuse or the longest side, the side across from the 90 degree angle squared. So we can use the Pythagorean Theorem, if we know two of the sides in a right triangle, we can find the third side. So we first need to identify the hypotenuse, and in this case, it's the square root of 145. It's the side across from the right angle. And so the hypotenuse always goes in for C, and I always write the formula when I use it. And so, sorry about that. I'm just going to delete that. So I plug x and 9 in there, my two legs. Squared of 145 goes in for my hypotenuse. I like to put x first because that's the way we're used to seeing it. And so now we can simplify. 9 squared is 81. The, a square root squared is just going to cancel and leave us the number 145. And now to get rid of the square on the x, we square root both sides. And we get x to be 8. So that means this missing leg up here is 8 kilometers. So we can do another one. This time the side across from the hypotenuse is x, and so x is going to go in for c. And again, you see I'm writing it every time, and I'm plugging in 7 squared, square root of 26 squared, x squared. 7 squared is 49. The square root and the square here cancel, so I'm left with just 26. And then I square root both sides and get x to be the square root of 75. So I want you to pause here. I want you to try this one. Find the missing side length. So I'm going to write the Pythagorean theorem. 16 is my hypotenuse. It's across from the 90 degree angle, so it goes in for C. I like to put X first again because that's the way we're normally uh, used to seeing it. And then I solve to get X to be the square root of 135. You could leave it just like that for now. Uh, if you got a decimal, that's okay too. But we could just leave it like that for now. So another way we'll use the Pythagorean Theorem is to figure out if a triangle is a right triangle, an obtuse triangle, or acute. And as a quick reminder, a right triangle has one 90 degree angle. An obtuse triangle has one angle that's bigger than 90 degrees. And an acute triangle has all of its angles smaller than 90 degrees. So if we plug three side lengths into the Pythagorean Theorem and we find out that the two smaller ones squared add up equals the third one squared, so it fits the Pythagorean Theorem, then it's a right triangle. If we plug in and the two smaller sides are less than the biggest side, it's obtuse. If the two smaller sides, when you plug them in, if this side is greater than the biggest side squared, then it's acute. And so uh, this is better illustrated by trying a couple. So here I want to know if this triangle creates a right triangle, obtuse, or acute triangle. And so I need to determine that 14 is my biggest side here. Uh, if you don't know that, you can always plug the square root of 152 in your calculator to see what it, it is. It's smaller than 14. So when I plug in, I'm going to plug 14 in for C. 7 and the square root of 152 go in for A and B. I put a question mark in between them because I don't know which side's bigger or if they're both equal. So now I'm just simplifying both sides to see uh, what their relationship is. So 7 squared is 49. Square root and the square cancel. 14 squared is 196. Add these together to get 201 and I find out that the left side is the bigger side. So a squared plus b squared is bigger than c squared. And when that happens, that means I have an acute triangle.
let's do another one. You're going to find that two, square root of 226 is the biggest side here. And so I'll plug that in for C. 7 and the square root of 177 going for A and B. Again, I'm putting a question mark because I don't know if the, both sides are equal or if one's bigger. And so I simplify. 7 squared is 49. Square root and square cancel. Square root and square cancel. And I get both sides are equal to 226. When I can put an equal sign in between these two sides, that means that thing is a right triangle. Let's do one more of these together. You'll find the square root of 173 to be the biggest side here. Again, if you don't know, you can put these square roots into your calculator and get a decimal. I'll plug in. Square root of 173 goes in for C since it's the biggest side. Again, I'm using a question mark because I don't know if they're equal or if one side's bigger than the other. 5 squared is 25. Square root and square cancel. Square root and the square cancel. My left side turns into 170, which is smaller than 173. So in this triangle, C squared is the bigger side. When C squared is the bigger side, the triangle is obtuse. So if A squared plus B squared is biggest, it's acute. If C squared is biggest, it's obtuse. And if both sides are the same, it's a right triangle. So I have two of those that I'd like you to try, and we can go over them in class. So for both of these, figure out if the triangle is a right triangle, obtuse, or acute.